Hello, Dollies. Good morning. Hey, Randy. Good morning. You're you're on there early this morning. What time is it? Oh, it's six thirty. So I was told I should start doing these in the afternoons because more people are on, but it wouldn't be coffee with Wayne then. It would be wine with Wayne. So maybe I'll have to start a second one. Um, good morning. How is everyone today? Whether you're watching this live or you're watching this as a playback. Sprocket, get out of her food. Sorry, I have to bring Zoe's food in here because Sprocket will eat it because she'll just stand there and look at it. Um, okay. So anyway, how are you? Good morning. Let me have some coffee. I was thinking about it yesterday and I was like, you know, I don't even think I drank any of my coffee during my coffee with Wayne. Um, so yes. So how are you this morning? It is Wednesday. Happy hump day. Uh, my home inspection went really well yesterday. So let's talk a little bit about condos. When you're buying a condo, it's really important to know what the HOA does and does not cover. Now, this has a pretty hefty HOA because this is a waterfront condo. It is on the bay side out on Gulf Breeze or out at Gulf Breeze, at in Gulf Breeze. And um, <clears throat> so it's a beautiful property. I don't know if you follow my um, stories and things. I posted a couple of little stories yesterday just walking around out there. And it was beautiful, and it wasn't even the best day yesterday when I was out there. It was still a little overcast. It took a while for that morning, um, those morning clouds to, to burn away and the fog to lift and all that good stuff. But beautiful, beautiful property, and um, there are some things going on on the outside of the property, but they're pretty minor. Well, one's major, but um, the stairs have some wood rot on them, but that's all covered by the HOA. So all we have to do is put in a request to the HOA and hopefully they're going to respond quickly to us. Um, I say all we have to do. I have worked with some HOAs and condos that are like, well, that's not scheduled to be done until next year. So then you have to figure, are we going to move forward with it and hope it gets done? Or are we going to move on from it? Uh, this one, the you never really have to use those stairs if you don't want to because you drive into the garage and it has an elevator that goes up to the first and second floor. So it's three levels, but the bottom level is just a garage. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so that's what I did yesterday. So when you're looking at condos, you always wanna make sure you know what the condominium association is going to cover and what you, the owner, will have to cover. Most condo associations, and I say most because I have seen one or two that won't, most cover from the walls out. So like the flooring and the paint and all that is is the homeowner's responsibility, but the actual sheetrock, drywall, whatever, um, all the way up to the roof and down to the ground is covered by the HOA and the HOA fees. So that's a little bit of real estate information for you this morning. So um, I'm going tonight to uh, meeting some friends or a friend, and then there'll be other friends there. RuPaul's Work the World Tour is going to be here in Pensacola. So I finally broke down and bought tickets to that. So I'm really excited to go see that this evening. I've seen a, a few of her shows now and RuPaul won't be there. So if you're thinking, oh my God, I need to go because I want to see RuPaul, RuPaul will not be there. It will be all of the queens that have been in drag race over the years. Not all of them, but some of them. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I've got clients today. We're going to look at some property. And then I'm going to go downtown and meet my friend Maureen for dinner. And then go to the show. So I'm going to be up late tonight. So we'll see what time I get on here tomorrow. Because the show starts at, I think it starts at 8 but they're usually only about an hour, an hour and a half long. And then, you know, you'll hang out for a little bit and then get home. So I'll be up kind of late. So we'll see how bloodshot these eyes are. I'm not a big drinker anymore, so I'm not worried about that. It's just, um, I get really, you know, like I go to bed early. So when I'm up till midnight, it, it hits me the next day. All right. <clears throat> so that's about all, y'all. I don't want to keep you too long today. I have a... I do a weekly role play with a realtor that I used to work with in Murphy, North Carolina, and she calls me on Wednesdays and we just role play talking to clients and 
Um, really, what whatever. I mean, I'm I'm doing it to help her. I do role play, but um, you know, clearly, I don't have any issue just talking about whatever with people. So she was like, you know what, you're pretty comfortable with all that. So why don't we just start role playing? And then you can tell me some tips to improve. And I was like, yeah, girl, come on, call me. Um, <clears throat> the only thing is I'm a little too nice. So I got to make sure I start giving her some constructive criticism instead of saying, yeah, good job. That was good. Because that's usually what I say. And that's not why she wanted me to help her. So today I'm going to try and like really give her some constructive criticism. Um, we'll see how I do it. But uh, anyway, so I hope you have a great day. I'm going to get myself together here and keep this short for you because I noticed the longer they go the less people watch them so I'm gonna try and start keeping them a little shorter and not just rambling too much but you know every now and again you're gonna get it because those of you especially you Randy you've been following me almost since I started this you know some days I just have a lot to say and other days I don't so today I'm gonna try and keep it short um Anyway, all right, well, have a great day. Get out there and do something fun. If you need me, as I always say, call me. I am trying to really get better at not trying to track track down random people and really just being more focused on people who already follow me and see how I can help you guys and really focus on building my community through um, just people who I already know. And then hopefully those people will refer me to more people and help help me grow my community and grow my business. So with that said, if you know somebody who needs a realtor, no matter what state you're in, have them call me. I can always help. We're connected. Um, I think I've shown you guys this before. Y'all got a mess on my desk over here. I think I've shown y'all this before, but I am a part of the leading real estate brokers of the world. And we have can you see it? Over 70 countries, 138,000 sales associates in 4,900 offices. Um, so we've got a lot of connections. <clears throat> I say we because I do this through my brokerage, but I have a lot of connections. So now I'm going to end. I've rambled on enough to make this longer. So have a great day. Call me if you need me. Always remember, wherever you go, whatever you do, be you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Did I take the mute button off? Thank God. I just thought about that. I see my little microphone thing moving. So good. All right. Be you guys. I will see you. <clears throat> I'll see you tomorrow. If you need me, call me.